Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be starting with computer network subject and this is a very important subject if you are doing your graduation or post graduation in computer science or BTEC, BCA, MCA, MSc or even BSc computer science honor students or those students who have taken computer science as an elective course and you have to study these subjects. So let's start with computer networks from today's video. All right. So uh, starting with what is a computer network? So before studying computer networks, you must know what is a network or what is a computer network. So a computer network is a collection of devices. These are digital devices which are interconnected together so that they can exchange information. So these are the three important words that you need to remember. Firstly, it is a collection of devices. These devices can either be computers, they can be laptops, they can be your printers or any other digital devices, your mobile phones, right? So uh, these devices are connected together and they are connected together so that they can communicate with each other and via communication, they can exchange information with each other, okay? Now, this interconnection of devices is generally uh, taken place with the help of some communication media or a, a transmission media. And this transmission media can either be a wireless media or a wired media. So we will be studying all these in detail in this course. But uh, as of now, you can say that uh, the devices in a computer network can be either connected through wires like copper wires, which include twisted pair cables or uh, coaxial cables. And they can also be interconnected. The network can also be formed using wireless uh, media, which is which is in the form of waves when communication happens in the form of waves okay so uh, interconnection of this uh, of the devices present in a network can happen through copper wires twisted pair cables coaxial cables fiber optic cables. So fiber optic cables are the ones in which communication happens using light waves. Okay. So most of the uh, cables that you now have that provide internet to you like geo fiber or airtel fiber are fiber optic cables. Then in wireless media, you have microwaves or infrared waves. Infrared waves are the waves that help in the communication between your TV and the TV remote. Okay, so these are some of the most commonly used uh, communication media through which a network gets formed, through which the exchange of information between the connected devices takes place. Okay, now when we study computer network, you must know that computer network or the internet is also a computer network. Rather, it is the network of networks. It is the largest network that consists of a large number of networks across the globe. Okay, so the internet is a network of networks and it is the largest network as of now. So uh, when you when you are asked what is the largest network that you see in your or use in your daily lives, it is the internet. Okay, it consists of a large number of networks within itself, and all those networks combine together to form the internet. Okay. Now, when we study computer networks, uh, you must know what is the use of studying computer networks or why do we form computer networks or why are computer networks becoming so popular and so useful in our daily lives. So, you must remember for your exam purposes also that there are certain important uses of computer networks. So, to start with, the first and the most important use of computer network is resource sharing. Now, what do I mean by resource? A resource can either be a file, it can be any form of data, it can be any form of information or anything that you want to exchange from one machine, one digital device to another. Okay, so... Uh, 
resource can either a printer can also be a resource you know when multiple devices in your school or colleges are connected together such that there is a single printer connected to multiple computers in your lab then all the computers of your lab can send a printing command to the shared printer and that is what is known as resource sharing now resource sharing includes a very important concept or when you uh, talk about resource sharing you must uh, know a very important concept of client and server okay now client is the machine when i say machine i mean the digital device that is requesting some kind of resource okay so the client machine uh, a client is the machine that requests some form of resource or some form of service okay and this uh, on the other hand the server is the machine that provides that service all right so the client server architecture is the word that we use when devices are communicating in the form of clients and servers so server is the machine that provides the requested resource or service all right requested resource or service now uh, as you can see in the diagram that i have drawn here it is a very small network that consists of four devices there is a laptop a which is a client i will tell you why this is a client then there is a laptop b or any desktop b which is also a client and why this is a client because these are requesting information from the server in this network the server is this box that i have created here and it stores a large amount of information so you must understand that whenever you are accessing any kind of website or requesting a web page you are actually following the client server architecture or the client server model because your browser google chrome or firefox or edge uh, it actually sends a request for a web page to the server where that web page is located all right and that request is fulfilled when you get the web page displayed on your browser so uh, this machine is the server because it has some data has some information that it can provide to the clients which are requesting this information so this devices that I have this device that i have drawn here is a router which we'll study in detail uh, in future lecture or you can also call it as a switch because it is a, a very small network it is uh, in the everything is in the vicinity of each other directly connected through these wires okay so these are the connection media as of now we'll consider this as a wired connection so what happens in a client server architecture some request is sent by the client it goes through the network in this case only the router is present as an intermediate node between the client and the server but in actual life a whole lot of a collection of a large number of intermediary nodes can be present between the actual client and server so the request travels from the client goes through the network or all the devices that are present between the client and the server and it reaches the server then the server if it has the requested information it will send back the reply to the client through the same network through which the request was made okay so this architecture is also known as request response model or request response architecture okay because the client is making a request and the server is responding to the request all right so a simple form of the client server architecture can be seen here where this machine is a client it can be any machine it can be your mobile uh, device which is requesting uh, some kind of file some kind of uh, web page or any kind of information from another 
uh, another device and there is an application or a process that is running inside this client this is the network through which the request will be sent and this is the server which has the uh, information that is being requested so the client sends the information sorry the client sends the request to the server where some process is running and that process when it receives the request it will send back a reply to the client and again this uh, request response will go through this request response will go through the network through which the client and server are connected. So this is one of the uh, most important uh, uses of a computer network resource sharing. Now let's come to other uh, uses of computer networks. The second and the most important use of uh, computer network is communication. Now this communication can be in any form. When uh, multiple devices are connected through a network, they can either communicate through emails, they can either communicate through video conferencing like Zoom calls, Skype, Teams, Microsoft Teams or uh, Google Meet. Okay, So that is also video conferencing. Then communication can also happen in the form of instant messaging. Okay, So you can directly send or chat over uh, with another device, another remote device that is present across the network using your machine. Or you can place some business orders that is also some kind of communication instead of sending out a letter to another company from which you need the resource, you can directly send out uh, the or place the business order on a portal which is located on a company's website. Again, you are accessing the network to perform your task. Then the third uh, uh, use of computer network comes in the form of electronic commerce, which we also know as e-commerce. Now, e-commerce can have uh, multiple forms. Can It can take multiple forms. When we say B2B, uh, sorry, starting with B2C, B2C means business to consumer. So uh, the most common example of business to consumer is Amazon okay or any uh, uh, e-commerce site like Flipkart or Mintra or Nika so basically they are a business and they are providing services directly to the consumer okay the next form of e-commerce is B2B now B2B means business to business so this uh, Amazon will fall under this categorization also because Amazon ties up with small businesses who want to sell up, sell out their products on the Amazon platform. Okay, So Amazon in itself is a business and it is tying up or collaborating with other businesses also. Then we come to the third form of electronic commerce or e-commerce which is G2C. So G2C is government to consumer. So uh, the you can say any of the government forms that are provided through uh, online services, online forms, online websites like taxation forms or even the uh, booking of uh, uh, COVID vaccines. It is a service that is being provided by the government to the consumer so that uh, they are directly interacting through a network. And how they are interacted through a network? Again, there is a client server. Uh, client server architecture being followed this client that is the user makes a request and that web page of the government side is being displayed okay then comes c2c c2c means consumer to consumer so when different types of consumers or even the same types of consumers are interacting directly then uh, it is known as c2c commerce uh, and one of the major examples can be olx where one uh, one party is directly putting out uh, the ad for secondhand products and the interested party without any intermediary olx platform exists but no other communication no other third person is involved so you can directly communicate or any kind of selling of secondhand goods or when you put up your uh, used uh, pre-loved toys or books online and people directly interact with you so that can also be called as consumer to consumer. 
and uh, the next is peer to peer okay so peer to peer uh, communication means to uh, machines directly talking with each other and communicating uh, when both the parties are considered equal so any kind of file sharing will come uh, uh, under this when you know there is when when a uh, when two parties are at the same level we call it peer to peer but when the two parties two machines devices that are interacting that are not at the same level we call it client server okay so um so uh, in case of client server the server will never request a file or a resource from the client but in case of peer to peer any of the peers can request and respond as well okay now come now coming to the fourth use of computer networks which is uh, in the form of financial services and the most easiest example of this is the banking services that we are provided online the internet banking phone pay paytm that we use so these are the services that we are getting through uh, the internet through their websites and again there is a role of computer networks in it okay so um, ne the next comes is ubiquitous computing so what do we mean by ubiquitous ubiquitous basically means something that exists everywhere so uh, in very near future you will see the expansion and boom of iot and ioe so iot ioe basically refer to internet of things and internet of everything or a collection or a network of smart devices which interact with each other so as to provide services to you so a uh, smart homes is also a concept that comes under this smart home consists of devices in which uh, the devices which communicate with each other say um the doorbell you ring the doorbell and the there is a webcam there there is a video camera there which sees that the owner of the house has entered so the doorbell will communicate through the in network and send a message to your smart ac so that it starts itself it starts cooling the room and makes the temperature at a suitable level similarly your refrigerators can communicate with the your uh, you know with the maybe it can communicate with the grocery stores uh, when you are out of vegetables so these are forms of ubiquitous computing which uh, include a lot of smart devices internet of things that means a network formed by multiple things interacting with each other okay then comes another use of computer networks which is mobile or wireless computing and the easiest example here is a hotspot so when you create a hotspot you are creating a wireless network you are creating a mobile network a rather a wireless network in which uh, you can interact with other devices other devices can join this network and use the internet services to access other resources okay then comes satellite communication again powered by computer networks uh, the easiest example here would be gps global positioning system so uh, the 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 if you if you are using google maps they are interacting with their satellites to let you know the exact position of the traffic around you or how much time you will take what is the best route so everything is Commun uh, that involves communication that involves sharing of resources via a wireless medium here the medium will be wireless okay in hotspot also the medium is wireless there is no physical wire involved okay so uh, whether through wired or wireless medium whenever information is being in, uh, interchanged you uh, will get to see uh, use of computer networks and last so this is not an exhaustive list but some of the most important and most commonly seen uses that you can see around yourself is wearable computers so here comes smart uh, watches so smart watches in near future will be able to uh, uh, you know you know send your health information your sleep information your heart rate your pulse rate to 
your uh, physician to your doctors and they can automatically send you an updated prescription so these are all the uses of computer networks in the next video we will be studying about different types of transmission media different types of communication in which uh, the number of receiver varies okay and we'll also study the different sizes uh, of computer networks and how they are classified on that so uh, i hope you have understood this video and the concept explained here thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exams